I'm going to show you guys how to make a koi bow in Blender and I have my hotkeys down below so you guys can follow along a bit better. Um, you're going to start off by doing shift A and adding in a cube and then I'm just scaling it down with S. And then I'm going to add in a UV sphere so shift A again and then UV sphere. And I have it set at 14 segments and eight rings so this is what mine looks like i'm gonna rotate this on the y axis so r y and then 90 on your keyboard and i'm scaling this down with s i'm just gonna put it next to this cube because i'm gonna mirror it but i'm gonna hide this cube right now so i'm gonna do h on my keyboard while selecting the cube and then I'm going to select my UV sphere and I'm going to go into edit mode. And then I'm going to select this vertice and I'm going to turn on proportional editing. Now I'm going to do G and then X on my keyboard. And I'm just going to move this out to about right there. And then I'm going to scale this in on the Y axis. So A on your keyboard. S and then Y and then I'm just gonna scale it into about here and then we go into front mode so it's like that little uh squiggy line below your keyboard and then front then I'm gonna select these vertices right here and I'm going to drag these into the UV sphere so G Y and then I'm gonna scroll my circle down a bit while I'm moving this in, I'm going to scroll up on my scroll wheel so these parts move out a bit. And then I'm going to mark this as a sharp as well as that point right there. And then I'm just going to shade smooth this. So you can do right there, object, shade, and then smooth. And then I'm going to increase this. And I'm also going to select these parts here. So I'll right click. And then Alt Shift right click, and then Control E, and then Mark Sharp. Um, once you've done that, I'm gonna move this line a bit down. So G, and then Z, and then I'm just gonna scroll down on my mouse wheel, and then it creates like a little bend there. I'm gonna bring back my cube. So Alt H. And then I'm going to mirror this by doing, going to this wrench, add modifier, then uh, mirror. Then I'm going to use this eyedropper tool and then I'm just going to select the cube. Once you've done that, you can, I'm going to shrink down my bow a little bit because it's kind of big. And then I'm going to actually rotate this a little bit. So R, Z, and then I'm going to rotate it this way and move it up a bit. Now I'm going to select my cube and go to add modifier and then subdivision surface. Edit mode, which is tab on your keyboard. I'm going to add in a edge loop here and then a edge loop here using control R. And then I'm going to move it down a bit. And I'm also going to shade smooth this as well. So there's two different ways I like to do like the little center part here for bows. So you can stop here if you want. And then you, you would probably be good. Um, but I'm just going to duplicate this and then hide it. And I'm going to add in an edge loop here. And then another edge loop here. I'm going to turn off proportional editing by pressing this. Or you could press O on your keyboard for the shortcut. And then I'm going to select these edge loops here. And then I'm just going to scale them up on the Z axis. And then I'm going to scale this down a bit. As well as marking this as a sharp. This kind of just gives it a bit more um, dimension than the other style of the bow. But once you're done, you're just going to add your modifiers. I'm going to duplicate these so you can kind of see the difference in each bow. It's not too different, but it just depends on your style. And then you can honestly mark these as sharps too if you'd like. But that's totally up to you. Generally, these are usually UV unwrapped for you. However, in the case it isn't, I will show you how to UV unwrap this.
So once you go into UV editing mode, um, it should look something like this. Uh, this is what the bow would look like if it was UV unwrapped for you. This will be UV unwrapped for you, but it's not that great. So I'm going to move that to the side. And I'm actually going to go and delete this part of the bow. And then I'm going to separate this one. So I'm going to select a face, control L, and then P on your keyboard. Then you're going to do separate by selection. And then I'm going to mirror this so the UVs are overlapping. Okay, if your mirror ends up like this and it doesn't exactly work out as it's supposed to, go to object, set origin, origin to geometry. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, so once you have this, you are going to go into UV editing. And in the case this isn't UV unwrapped for you, what I'm going to have you do is press C on your keyboard. And you're going to drag this circle and you're going to select these where it's here. And you can do these as well. So Alt, Shift, and then right click on that line. Then do U on your keyboard and unwrap. That should unwrap this part of the bow for you. Oh, don't forget to select these faces up here. So, unwrap. And that should be one section of the bow unwrapped for you. Then I'm going to press H on my keyboard to hide these faces. And then I'm just going to do U and then unwrap these. You can see this kind of takes up a lot of space on your UV map. So what I'm going to have you do is select these faces here. So C, then drag, and then C, and then drag. And then you're just going to UV unwrap this again. So U, and then unwrap. And then I'm going to drag those to the side and then hide that again. You should be left with something that looks like this. So you're going to press A. R, Y, and then 90 on your keyboard. And we're going to straighten out these edge loops so it will save you a lot of space on your UV map. So I'm gonna go into vertex select mode, which is one on your keyboard. Alt, right click on this edge loop, W on your keyboard, and then I'm gonna do auto align. And then I'm just going to be doing the same thing for the rest of this line of edge loops. You should have something that looks like this. And we're going to do the same thing, but horizontally. So Alt, right click, W, auto align for every single one of these. And that's how you UV unwrap the bow part. Um, Usually I do the same for here, but if you are texturing in a different program, it will just be easier if you left it like this. Now we're going to UV unwrap this part of the bow. It can be a little tricky, but it will be super easy. So you're going to go into edit mode and you're going to do alt right click. And then you are just going to select these faces around here. And you are just going to do the same thing for over here. And I'm actually going to use... Mm, actually, I'm going to do U on my keyboard and then unwrap. And you should have something that looks like this. And you can actually overlay your UVs so the texture pops up on the same side. Um, to do that, I'm going to do S, X, negative 1 on my keyboard. While having this selected, I'm going to do this magnet here. Then I'm going to click this drop down and do vertex. And then you're just going to overlay that and your texture should overlay and it should save you some space as well on your UV map. So I'm going to hide that and I'm actually going to add seams here. So I'm going to select this top part, control E, mark seam, and I'm going to do it for this lower part here as well, mark seam. Then I'm going to do A on your keyboard, U, and then UV unwrap. 
and we're going to be using the same method as we did for the bow so i'm just gonna right or right click this face here Control l and then shift h to seclude that part and we're going to use the same method to straighten out these edges here so for text select one on your keyboard alt right click this edge loop w align auto and like i said the same for the horizontal And do the same thing for this other side here. Now this should be fully UV unwrapped for you. Now let's join these together and we can assemble the UV map. Okay, so this is what it should look like on your part. And generally for UV maps, you want the most detailed part to be the biggest thing on your UV map. So that in that case, it will be this part right here. So I'm going to rotate this R, Y, and then 90 on your keyboard. I'm going to shrink this down using S. And I'm going to place that right here. And I'm going to be doing the same for this, but instead I'm going to place this probably right here. And you can make changes as you like. You don't have to follow the same layout as me. I'm going to select this part. And I'm going to place that right here. I'm going to place this here. And you can see we have extra room, so you can try different ways. Um, you're going to select this, so select the face, Control L to select the whole part. And RY90 on your keyboard. And just shrink this down and just fit it wherever you'd like. Obviously, there's still more space I could fill up on the UV map, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do the layout like this. That's how you model a bow as well as UV unwrap it.